Hi, this is Paul with Great Interact. Uh, today we're going to work on our soccer touches. Uh, my special guest today is Chewy. Hi, I'm Coach Chewy Leonard. I coach varsity soccer at the high school and middle school, and I work with the boys team. And today we've got Jaime Arellanes and Angel Razo. We're going to work on a, a simple drill. Whether you're maintaining or improving the quality of your touch, we're going to work on headers, volleys, and then uh, one touch. And we're going to be moving forward, back, side to side. So we're going to start off with uh, let's start off with headers on the on the, uh, on the compass drill, which is what we call this one here. So it's just simple, uh, just a simple space, three to foot six spacing. That way you can have a nice toss and a nice contact. And regardless of how fast you're going, um, you always the main thing you want to do is make sure that your contact is with well control and always going right back to your partner's hands. That way they're not chasing them and uh, causing more time in there. So let's go with the simple toss. So simple, we'll go with the simple toss. Eventually we'll throw in the uh, compass portion, which will go north, south, east, west, of course. And so we're working on just getting a nice, comfortable contact on the forehead. And again, you want control, so you want to go right back to his hands. Don't try to make him chase the ball. We can eventually start going a little bit of height, adding some height to it. So you're not always going to make contact with the ball on the ground. Most likely, if you're going and challenging for the ball in the air, most likely you're going to jump as well. So again, you want to make sure you want to make proper control on the forehead, and again, right back to your partner's hands. So we can go ahead and make let's make a quick switch there. Right, nice simple toss, right back to your partner's hands. Let's go to the air, and let's go add the compass portion of it. Let's stay on the ground now, and let's go north. Go ahead and give him that toss. Give him the toss still. Go give him the toss as well through it. Yep. Let's go south. So as you see now, he's walking backwards. He's walking forwards. In soccer, you're not going to be standing still when you make contact with the ball. Let's go west. You're going to move, be moving in every direction. You've got to be able to have full control. Let's go east. While moving in either direction and always making sure the ball goes. Let's go back to our reset. Well, the ball goes right back to where we need to. So that's the headers portion of it. So now we're gonna to go to volleys, which is another big part of the game. The ball doesn't stay on the ground. It's gonna to go to the air. So this is why we practice these parts here. And um, let's go Jaime, Jaime with the first toss. So you want to, whether you're making contact with the laces or the inside of the foot, it's gonna be the same thing. Whether the headers, put your foot or any part of the body, you always wanna make sure the ball goes where you want it to go. So again, whether you choose the inside or the laces, when you make contact, send it right back to his hands. Beginners, you can stay standing still, just bring it up one foot at a time. And people have been doing this for a long time, so we encourage players at his level to keep your feet moving in between touches. Good. So it's a nice, simple toss, going right back to his hands. You always want to make the ball go where you want it to go, as opposed to having to chase it. So let's have a switch. I mean, do a few tossing, and then again, we'll throw in the compass. Let's go north. So he's going to be walking backwards, full control right back to his hands, let's go south, same thing, full control, making contact, it right back to your partner's hands, let's go west, good deal, now we can reset, so we're going to work on, so it's the same thing, just working on making contact with the ball while you're moving and also having good control while setting it right where you need to. In soccer, you're going to have to place the ball on the move, whether you're passing or shooting. So this is kind of just kind of helping you tweak those little little bit of uh, quality there so you can have it fine-tuned for when the game comes around. So now we're going to, uh, this is going to be the same thing. We're going to go to uh, one touch. We're going to be exchanging touches. We're going to go nice and slow. Again, for the beginners, Lift one foot up at once, and then once you get to the level that these two have, we're again going to encourage them to have some steps in between their touches. So again, we'll go north. One's going forward, one's going back. Let's go south. Same thing, you've got to be able to have full control regardless of what direction you're moving. Let's go west. Up the step, let's go east. You've got a pretty good idea of what we need to Accomplish here. Let's go back to our reset. 
So it's three simple drills that it's going to help you work on your headers, your volleys, and again on your one touch. And again, soccer, you've got to be able to control on the run. You're not just going to be standing there. It's not likely anyway, so you've got to be able to control while on the move. And this is definitely going to help you whether you're improving or you're maintaining the quality of your touch. This is the three important areas that it's going to help you do that in. So other than that, uh, make sure you work on them at home with a partner. Angel, uh, last or a few, few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, sent you a video that you can do on your own. And here's something different that you can do with a partner. So we hope, we hope and encourage all of you to get out, work on your soccer skills, and stay active. Thank you.